Who am I? I'm Lorenzo James, actor, author, writer, and YouTuber. You mean besides my parents? Okay, on a more serious note, I guess you could say I got here based on a lot of bad decisions. Where do I even start? All right, let's start here. So last year around November, I lost my job that I was working with in the electric field. And that was just a rough time for me. Around that same time, my car went down and my engine just blew on my Audi A6, which left me with no car and no job. It wasn't the best time for me, especially after my house burned down a few months ago prior to that. But Nevertheless, I decided I wanted to get more active on YouTube, so I started creating prep series videos, doing a bodybuilding show that I thought could help me become a better leading man actor. If I made, if I could have the look to fit the part, then maybe I would be able to get more roles in the future and maybe get even bigger roles. So I decided to do a bodybuilding show, decided to document that show by doing a prep series. I did that prep series. It just did not do well on YouTube, which kind of put me in a even deeper depression. During that time, I started to just second guess myself on a lot of things. I told myself, well, maybe it was my camera, being that I'm only shooting with one camera. I'm using a Canon M50 Mark II, which isn't the best camera there is. It's shooting only 1080p, so I'm not shooting 4K footage like everybody else is using their Sony Alphas. Uh, I'm only using one camera so I can't get the multiple angles like everybody else is doing. I don't have amazing slow motion footage like everyone else has when B-roll in their footage. So I'm just making all these excuses for myself and telling myself, well, when I get a better camera, when I get better lighting, when I get better equipment, then maybe I'll be able to produce more on YouTube and shoot better videos. Doing that, I just took a break off of YouTube, just took some time away and told myself, I gotta figure out a way to get some money to get these things. Unfortunately, during that whole time period, I could not get a new job. I was not able to get my car working back. In fact, I had to downsize back to my Hoopty, my Honda that you've seen in the previous vlogs. And it was just really a rough, rough time for me. And I don't know, 2024 kicked in and I just told myself I, I needed to make a change. I needed to make a change. I needed to do something different. I needed to stop making excuses. And I felt like I, I had all these ideas, all these things that I want to bring into fruition, but I'm just talking about it. I'm not acting. I'm making excuses about, well, if I get more equipment and if I get this and if I get that, and just focusing on all the things that I don't have instead of focusing on all the things that I do. And I decided this year, 2024, that I was just gonna put the focus into all that I do have and try to do what I can with everything that I have to bring all of my ideas to life. Hence why I'm back on YouTube now, I'm starting this Project 30 challenge and I'm using my same one camera, my Canon M50, and I'm making the best of it. But if, I hope that answers the question of, that's how we got here today. Well, I sort of touched on that a little bit in the previous answer, but I actually started YouTube in 2020 during the time the you know what was going around and everything was shut down. Everybody was locked in their homes and people were just finding new ways to be creative and just new ways to try to create some income. And during that time, there was a big stock craze. GameStop was blowing up. There was the whole diamond hand squeeze. AMC was having a big rise. Bitcoin was on the rise. Even Dogecoin was just making a big outburst with Elon Musk shouting it out on Twitter and all these things. And I thought to myself, well, hey, YouTube right now is making a lot of money for a lot of people right now. I actually watched a few other YouTube videos who show what they made in a year on YouTube. And I'm gonna be honest, it caught my attention. So yes, I started YouTube to get paid. But as I started to create the videos, I started to just grow a liking to creating videos, to just creating content. But the thing was, I was creating content about something I wasn't passionate about, which was stock videos. Because I thought that this would be able to gain me traction on YouTube and be able to just be able to draw in a following fast, I started creating videos, just doing what everyone else was doing, talking about the same stocks everyone else was talking about, and there wasn't any of me or any personality in it. 
I mean, the most personality I put into that page was the name itself. And I created the name, The Handsome Investor. But other than that, it was just me giving you daily stock picks and just talking about, like I said, what everybody else was already discussing. And for me, I just, I, I wasn't passionate about it, which is why I feel it didn't take off the way it was supposed to. I feel everything happens the way it's supposed to happen. And I feel like if that was something that I was really passionate about, something I knew I wanted to continue pursuing in the future, then it probably would have taken off, but it didn't for a reason. And then after that, I backtracked and started creating vlogs, which I did love creating. And I don't know why, but I got away from that when I took some time off of YouTube back in 2021 after the release of my first book, Dianera, The Queen of Lear's Relic. I took some time off of YouTube and just got away from creating vlogs. And then when I came back to YouTube, I started creating what you guys seen, which was the prep series videos, preparing for my first bodybuilding and then my second bodybuilding show. Now, once again, even though, yes, I was passionate about working out, passionate about bodybuilding and getting myself into shape, I wasn't passionate about creating these videos. I didn't wake up every morning and was excited to say, you know what, I can't wait to show these guys what I'm eating today for these meals. I can't wait to show these guys what workouts I'm doing today. It just wasn't me. It didn't interest me, but I did it because at the time, like I said, these past couple of years, fitness became the trend and everyone was watching fitness videos and everybody's watching bodybuilding videos. And I thought, well, hey, I might as well try to capitalize on the trend and try to get in on this and start creating fitness videos as well. Fitness content, even though I enjoy working out, not really for me, not really my passion. And once again, because like I said, things work the way they're supposed to and not the way you want them to, those videos just didn't take off or gain any traction for me as well. And that's when I had to force myself to stop and think, why did I create YouTube? What do I want to show on YouTube? And that's when I decided to now create the videos that I'm creating now. Hmm. Well, that depends on what YouTube channel you're talking about. Now you see, I have this channel where I'm releasing more videos that you could say are more personal and about me and my day-to-day -day life experiences. But then I also have my other YouTube channel, 16 Till Forever Productions, which I'm trying to get off the ground right now, which is my channel that promotes all of my acting ability, my movie producing ability, my movie writing ability, and my movie directing abilities. I have my web series, Growing Up Jamaican, which I wrote, directed, and starred in, which is now on that 16 Till Forever YouTube channel page. I have my first short film, which is an award-winning short film, Quarantine Inn, which was able to be shown in a bunch of film festivals and even shown in the AMC in Atlanta last year. That's also on that channel. And I'm working on a few other short films. I also have another short film, Growing Up Jamaican, the Thanksgiving edition, which was the first film I actually released on that page. So that is a page that I'm also trying to get off the ground. So what I want people to get from that page is just to see the, the ability that I have to create movies. I want to be known as one of the biggest, best, greatest movie producers, directors, actors that has ever lived. And I feel I have the ability to do so with all of the works that I already have on the page and the works that I have going into production right now, including a short film that I'm currently working on. Stay tuned for more updates on that. But that's what I want people to get from that channel. Now on this page that you're currently watching, I want people just to get to know me. Get to know my life. Get to know the life of the diary of a broke YouTuber. Not the glitz and glamour is not what people want you to see, but the real. I want you to see my growth. I'm here to show you that someone can go from being what you would think of as a zero to the hero, from broke to rich. That rag to riches story, I want you to watch it live on this channel. And I wanna be able to motivate someone who's down and out to know that this isn't the end for you, that there's another side for you. There's growth for you. If you're just willing to get up get out of that dark place that you're in and go through that tunnel, not try to fight around it, not try to avoid it, but go through it, you'll see light on the other side. And that's what I want people to get from this channel. So what are my goals for 2024? Well, one, I definitely wanna be more active on YouTube, hence this Project 30 series where I will be releasing a video every day for the next 30 days. I feel this will force me to be more creative, force me to be more active on YouTube and allow me to hit that goal a 
of getting to 10K subscribers by the end of this month. I also wanna be able to produce and get out my short film that I'm working on. And I don't wanna discuss the title of that yet because we haven't actually started filming and getting that into production, but I wanna get that into production going into the summer. That's a big, big, big goal for me. Another goal for me is to get this book right here. This book, Dianera, The Queen of Lair's Relic and Dianera, The Forbidden Fruit, both of my two novels that are erotic murder mysteries, I want to get them to become not only Amazon bestsellers, but New York Times bestsellers by the end of 2024. That is a major goal for me. I feel like this is an amazing book, well-written book. I feel it is very entertaining and informative and just, it keeps you on the edge of your seat throughout the entire series. And the third book is just gonna knock everybody off of their feet. And I think it should be a bestseller, which is why my goal is to do everything I can to make this book right here a bestseller. But those are my main goals for 2024. Now I do have some other minor goals that I will be discussing on this channel as we progress on this channel. So stay tuned for those goals. But those are the main things that I have planned for 2024. And I'm gonna do everything I can so that by the end of this year, we can look back at this video and say we accomplished those goals. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Real Lorenzo James. Make sure you subscribe to the 16 Till Forever Productions YouTube channel. And make sure you subscribe to this page, guys, because we got a whole lot more for you. This is only the beginning. Welcome to the Diary of a Broke YouTuber. And thank you for watching. Oh, is that it? All right, let's do it.